Hi there, I'm Deb Taylor. I'm an artist living on Wadawurrung country and I pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. I'm in Ocean Grove on the Bellarine Peninsula. This is my studio. It's um, in my house. So I'm going to give you a little virtual tour of my studio, have a little bit of a chat about uh, the sorts of things that I like to do in my art practice. There are quite a few, well in fact most of the work that you'll see today is in progress and my aim is to have those works finished. So I look forward to meeting you on December the 5th and sharing the finished works with you then. Let's have a look around. I've got a computer corner where I do things like pretend I'm really organised and update my website but the main event here is the pin board. I put up things on the pin board that I find interesting or amusing. Some of the things are related to memories. There's a past exhibition that I had up in Melbourne. And then there's work that I've made that is kind of a bit different to what I usually make or just things that I feel I want to look at a little bit more. I've participated in the sketchbook project uh, twice and you can see those sketchbooks at, on the Brooklyn Art Library website. Plus I'll have some sketchbooks on display at the Expo on December the 5th that you'll be welcome to have a flick through. I work in a variety of media, colour pencil, watercolour, acrylic paint. My large paintings are done in acrylic paint and then here are some colour pencil drawings that I have done over the last couple of years. The next lot of work up here are a series of watercolours. I really love the fluid nature of watercolour and uh, diluted ink is also a fantastic medium to work with which is how I started off this next series here with um, ink and then I added collage. So this series of um, works has inspired an online workshop called Abstract Mixed Media Studies that you'll be able to enrol in if you are interested. This is a series of assemblages made from plastic collected from the beach. I like to work on different surfaces, paper, wood panel and canvas and these are all acrylic paint on the wood panel. So I, also, I use fluid acrylic as well as the acrylic in the tubes that you saw earlier and I also really enjoy using paint markers. This is another little board of uh, works that I've done in the past that relate to other things that I'm doing. I describe my approach to making art as a dance between chance, intention and intuition. So whether that's painting or making collages or drawing, that's essentially what I do. I am inspired by nature, I take loads of photos, I, I store memories of the shapes and the colours and the lines and so on and that just comes out intuitively as I'm working with uh, whichever media it is. So I then, I'm then i then responding to, for example, with paint, is it thick, is it thin? How are the colors melding together? It, um, and then I stand back, I assess what's going on, and then I go in. It's a conversation. And um, that's the approach that I talk about and that you will learn if you sign up for my online class. So this painting has transformed further and I look forward to sharing it with you at the Expo. Thank you so much for taking the time to come on a virtual tour of my studio with me. I really enjoyed having a chat about some of the things that make me tick in my art practice. But what I'm looking forward to even more is meeting you in person at the Humans in Geelong Expo at Deakin University Waterfront Campus on December the 5th. It's going to be fantastic, a really amazing day, and it will be so good to be able to have a real conversation with all of you. I'm going to work really hard on getting canvases finished and other paintings and sharing that work with you at the Expo. Take care until then and see you.